Hello and welcome to my coding session. This is all about my program Bucket Manager, which is a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files, which consists of satellite channels information. So basically, previously I started with uh, JavaFX, finally. <laughs> yeah. But now I can actually work with JavaFX. It was very important to establish a ground for my graphical user interface. And now I managed to write tests. So basically I did written first a prototype and to be able to use testFX library. And one of the advantages you click <laughs> so you saw actually it was automatic graphic user interface test let me just no, execute it again I execute it and it runs graphic user interface test one um, minor disadvantage so one major I would say not minor but major issue with this kind of framework um, it is not well documented do documented I mean the, the documentation for the test fx is not nearly as good as for JUnit so brace yourself uh, for problems of understanding the code of the test fx I did took quite a uh, quite a while to get it out how it works and now basically I want to show you following so I have my structure of my project here let me just uh, close it I need the stuff and so this is my project sorry this is actually my project it consists of a uh, FX emails right now main view and my test so and basically my fxml is let me just quickly execute it with cine builder open with cine builder it basically a uh, grid pane form which looks like this when it's executed and i'm taking the same approach with java fx I write my test first and test show me how my application actually behaves so once again I'm using test driven development to make sure that the quality of my code and my um, my specification done pretty well so let me quickly go to the specification uh, yeah I did dig up some manuals like always so basically what I need to do next I need to create a menu and I need to start to think which type of table I will use and then I basically think of doing something like this but I'm not sure that I need all of the features which I have in this application so the test driven development should be consistent and it showed me the way how I deal with this stuff. Now let's just quickly look up my test. So yeah it took it, it looks like pretty simple but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't the case and why why it's so because of it, of the once again of the documentation of test fix. TestFX it is an open source library. I am currently some sort of a member of this project, mostly for reporting the issues with this uh, tool. But you clearly see that, yeah, you have Java doc, you have some explanations for the core, for the TestFX core API. And if you go, uh, let me just quickly find it. I have in my yeah here one interesting example where you need 
to get access from one of the elements. It can be button, it can be radio button, control box and so on and so on. So this kind of stuff, how I can use it, can be found actually on very interesting project. No advertisement, but I like it a lot. Vocab Hunter. And it did help me a lot to, to, to figure it out what it is. Uh, let me just quickly show you the project and let me just test the fix um, Java FX. So any anyway, test test the fix is a very very big um, step in in the way how you test the applications and biggest biggest uh, hurdle on, in this it is uh, actually to work some things away so here it is and you have some examples but uh, they're not presented in, in my opinion this should be presented even better but anyway this is how it goes with some project and if you like wiki they have a wiki it looks cool but if you start to look it up you will find sooner or later that the information are pretty scarce how to to use it in your project but anyway this is what i'm using for testing my ui and how it how it works so um, you need to extend your test with the application test which is I don't need that. Let me just quickly save it. Uh, you need this JUnit 5 application test framework. This is a test fix library which I have added to my POM. And basically it, look, it goes like this. Um, before and after each test it starts the screen so each time when I run my test like for example here it show me the screen of my application but rather uh, here I actually did test it if I can create the object of my um, main view class you know you can use in JUnit uh, before each and after each I got some problems with that so in this case I don't use it I use just this override uh, void start and, and this should be sufficient I hope and here I have an example where I am extracting the title of of the screen which I create which uh, which creates uh, which, which 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 created by the Java so now when I execute all of my two tests, not a, not so many, but anyhow, you see each time it was pretty quickly uh, the screen appears. So, and most interesting stuff with that that I actually run my POM Maven test and. It executes and it executes even graphical user interface test and this is how it should be you saw some screen and 134 test run zero failures zero errors skip six test but basically this is what you get when you work with test fix now let me delete some not needed stuff um, wait a second test resources XML outer yeah, this can edit it. all right so basically what is what is the next move what should be done next I didn't written my controller yet and should I write it right now? Let's just quickly look up some example. Yeah, okay. 
So next move will be like following. Um, I need to open my. Actually, I need write to write my test first. So. So and. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about. I did not solve the problem with the internationalization. And. It make more sense to. I think I will do the following. I will establish this kind of stuff. I will go for my menu, and menu will con the contents of the menu should be can can be read, and my test. Uh, what should it try out? Let me just think. So, file edit view for channel list, preferences, languages, receiver, about help. I think I put the about to the help, like sub menu. And you you will say why do you do you have such idea? But any anyhow, let's go further. So now I need to write some test. And let's just start with writing of our test. Test void test if well in this case I want to check if my menu set up check uh, test testing you can uh, show you can say what about the, the text of the menu it will be a pretty interesting test so I need to set up to to get hold of my menu testing if English is default as language testing if English is default as language in menu menu and how I should do it and so uh, basically now thinking about string and I need to compare string um, not as array I think I will just use it some sort of some sort of a list let me just quickly okay so here I'm using list of string uh, list uh, English menu list new mm, what should I use linked list or array list I just use linked list because it think I think it I can work with this faster so let me just quickly check it uh, because I sometimes forget it uh, link it is sorted iteration is slower mm, wait a second fast insertion and deletion okay Actually, actually, I can use more. I can work it out with the error list. Yeah. Error list. Error, error list and of string. I hope it is. Oh, I think I maybe sometimes I forget the syntax of it. I think it is. 
let me just look it up let me just uh, java utility list yeah, okay what i rather put so that i have strings so what i need to do i need to add add some text and what should i add well basically i want to make sure that my labels are i mean the, the, the menu is the correct one okay so how i should do that english menu list and let me just go to my um, document and let me just copy some some text so basically i would have file edit as option actually view i will not for write ch view for channel list it does not make any sense it i think it it is pretty obvious so next next part uh, i will pick here link for languages and receiver model mm, doesn't make any sense sat receiver sat receiver and about and help i think i can put my about to the do i need to have my about under the help yeah but actually i'm testing the the main menu not the sub menu but of course it will be included and i will basically will use this kind of stuff now i will go back to my application to the to the clips and in eclipse i need to put all of the fi stuff file okay so and the same goes like two three one two three four five one two three four five Okay, yeah, maybe it's some sort of a boring stuff, but anyhow, it is important to check it when each time when the application run, it will check if the menu is is okay. And of course, the next the next stuff will be like uh, choose. Uh, choose English language and I almost forgot to check about license Japan license but it, I will do it as the next move so now I have the list of menu File, edit, view, link, sat receiver, and here at the end I need to think about. So, this is what I expect to get, and the next move like be following I need to get, I need to get this menu list string. Expected, I, will, I forgot, almost forgot. Expected English menu list. Ex, um, expected English menu list. And here I just write actual, um, actual expected result. 
English menu list actual actual result English menu list and then I need some call on my object I'm not sure I'm not um, quite decided where I do this basically it should happen here that I need to get hold of the data but let me just uh, declare it like so and yeah I need to this, uh, yeah basically I can use refactor but sometimes some work needed and at the end I should compare um, I hope assert equals works with collections in JUnit 5 maybe not mm, then look it up so I, I, I expect to get this result and I need to compare with actual and and if it fails it will write the English menu names the English menu list names is not correct so basically default the default situation for this test case the user started the application for the first time and the, the, uh, the application was launched and the user did not change the language later when the user decide to keep one language uh, it would basically it must check if the language in the menu was check it up I think I will do some sort of a checkbox for the language to, to, to make sure that the language is set up and if the checkbox of the language is set up it will definitely work later because of the settings so here I just need to extract in some sort of a method extract method and here I just write to let me think um, init, init English menu 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 list menu menu I can I cannot spell right now you need English menu list but I, I think you got the idea why I'm doing so now it is done I think this probably will fail so I have my failing test yeah did fail and what should I do next um, now it is time to open open my fxml let me just quickly do that uh, open we see the builder so I have my grid pane and yeah basically I can use some additional things which I have so earlier like in other things uh, other projects I mean I have for example in the other object uh, project I uh, sorry other in other project um, where it is yeah here so basically it's always good to reuse some code 
and all this matter. So here for example, yeah, I have here a toolbar and in the toolbar I put a menu. And basically I will try right now the same. Let's just do that in my project. I open my Cine Builder. Okay, why it takes. Oh, it's already opened. <laughs> okay, now I need a toolbar. Uh, let me write here to think. Just need to adjust. Okay, toolbar. So, and I just drag under under the grid pane, and you see here this toolbar. And sometimes, um, yeah, here you see toolbar with a button. I basically don't need a button on the toolbar. And this toolbar, I want to grid pane, blah blah blah, select parent, I don't know. So basically here I need view, let me just quickly go straight with this stuff, hide right panel. And basically I will just close to the full. To the, to the whole line so once again I am not a UI designer I am not UI designer I'm a backend developer so I have no style in my head uh, pretty the old stuff is pretty schematic in my point of view so here toolbar I need to put some ident identifier because always having identify is a good thing so where is it where is it and right panel so grid toolbar will be named like uh, if grid pane is main grid main main grid pane I will put here menu tool bar I like obvious names and I'm trying to do my best with the naming notation. Alright, so now I have set up my toolbar and I need to put a menu. I have a lot of different kind of uh, menus. Wow. Menu bar, oh maybe, maybe I need to use menu bar. Let me just think of it. All right, so yeah, it's it's fun. Menu bar, and let me just put menu bar. Ah, okay. So basically, and I have different menu. Okay, so I need to put. Actually, I was wrong. I need a menu bar for this, for my, for my pleasure. Yeah, and does it stretch on? I think I need. It should be able to behave like. Yeah, this is actually quite a fun part. Um, show right panel, and I will put here like um, main menu bar. Pretty obvious. And on the properties, it should be resizable. So I hope I I will found quite um, okay. Maybe it is on layout stuff. Uh, position with maybe let when I put use computer size. Let me just. It means just try it out. Yeah. Mm. 
let me you see I have different kind of things but my golden rule never touch things which I don't know because you don't know what it will cause you for problem and I hope I found the stuff which I need to, to find maybe in here cursor inherit default focus tower scale scale shape visible not orientation left or right I don't need to set up use yeah you see pretty powerful stuff but I am basically thinking about like grid pain I think about how to stretch the stuff accessibility let me just I think it has something with the layout to, to do Let me just lay, look it up. Layout size max width relation rotate resizable snap to pixel. Why it is not resizable? Uh, okay, so it's basically not resizable. Fine fine by me and yet yeah, basically will be some stuff for the future to find out how how to make it resizable modify view hide left panel no show left panel view right panel maybe if I let me just quickly check something um, view preview view show right panel yeah okay yeah it is some sort of a headache but That's strange. I cannot, I cannot stretch it. Select parent. Let me quickly show show it. Okay. So I did figure out. I need to set my edge crow of the anchor pay to always. So basically, my application when I put it like this, and then I need to stretch it. Stretch to the to the far 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 away uh, 800 by 60 and 100 by 26 this is the anchor and the same goes to the fit to parent preferable size let me just do it like 26 26 and now it is correct one so it has the same stuff now how I should go about my menu well the menu itself should use internationalized uh, values so they I can later put them on to so that I can use variable variable types of different kind of languages which I need to set up in my menu and how I can go about this so basically let me just put my values which I want to put it file edit view now I need a menu menu item so menu 
and I just put the menu here and I put it between but pretty simple between file and edit file I think sh I should use file edit view file view edit ah, doesn't matter um, file okay so I have in here this program I have file edit view um, I need to change it in my Eclipse file edit view file edit file file edit view ah the order was ok file edit view yeah. file edit view file edit view long sat receiver help now I go to my fxml file and then I just need to put file edit view and then put link link and file edit file edit view link then I have in my menu oops okay so yeah I'm not so great with UI designing mm, but some things you never learn um, so file edit view link ah, okay so link I, I did have already set and then I have um, set receiver set receiver and the last one was help mm, ok I need to put it like this ok now the under under menu file menu item okay now it should have save and I need to write here save XML save to XML save to XML so people will know what actually happening oops and, and moving so it will be basically looks like this file save to XML and XML I should put in small save to XML and next menu item should be like I don't know open XML files open XML files alright uh, save to XML, open XML files, close. This is all what I need to, what it has to be need to intended, in, intended. Okay, and now I, I have the thought, uh, the thing of what actually happens when the user need to create. Uh, create XML file, but it, that wasn't so no new option was now. So it will uh, only have save to XML, open XML, and close. Okay, then here 
I need to specify what I need to do in in the edit um, menu item. Let me just quickly put copy and this is actually quite a, quite an interesting stuff because uh, let me do some brainstorming so okay so now I have here my mock-up and I don't think so I, I will have here like all channel lists and here I will have my uh, list of my favorites so basically when I when my scope is here I need to copy delete in and insert copy delete and insert and if I here so here I need to put only hill is actually only copy should be available so it becomes kind of kind of interesting what will happen so but basically I am not not should not think about the future in, in too far so here I will put I don't know insert insert copy delete and that's it insert copy delete copy channel insert channel delete channel and so on and next option view Um, sort alphabetically alphabetically sort alphabetically um, I hope I did let me just quickly check check my spelling Yeah, I did wrong written this wrong so it will be like sorting sort alphabetically and then next menu item like uh, sort sort um, by satellite sort by satellites and maybe I need okay so the, the view is like um, alphabetically it means from A, B, C, B, Z uh, in order and satellites it like each channel sorted by the satellite name okay so it's kind of thing so now language well I support I decided to support first of all English because it is international language and then I have my original uh, German German and then I let me just quickly look up my Uh, specification how many languages I decided to support German Ukrainian and Russian yeah. German Ukrainian oh I spell it wrong sorry 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 
Ukrainian and Russian. Russian. Okay. Yep, and I did <laughs> um, gone some done some. Now it is okay. English, German, Ukrainian, Russian. So this is the languages which I have to include for uh, for my application. All right. So now, oops, what just happened? What just happened? Ah, okay. So now let me. Um, yeah. It is pretty po powerful, you think. Um, file edit, length set receiver, and of course, I need some menu for proper pre preferences. And this is always in, I think it is in, in file, yeah, preferences. File, and I should include preferences. Save to XML, open, open XML files, open XML files, uh, open XML files, and another menu item. like preferences and here I just put tweet basically I don't want to make too many options available at the moment because not always it can happen okay set receiver here I just need to put the default receiver which I use and yeah and basically this is not a menu item it's basically checkbox okay so okay so this is what I'm actually thinking about I'm thinking about to include checkbox and here insert graphic uh, what is happened I need to check insert graphic checkbox uh, let me ah basically okay edit and do menu item so menu item delete checkbox ah okay now i understand yeah i need the menu item and this menu item should include the checkbox And this is a default receiver. Check box. Uh, check box. The box two. The box two. So when I save it, and specify it action. Why it is specified action? I don't. Okay, so uh, here I will just put the text current current check it uh, current current receiver model and save it. Maybe maybe I need to do 
Yeah, I need basically pick it uh, different. Here I need to put no name, and here I need to put it like that. So basically, when I yeah, this is what I'm actually the box two receiver. The box two receiver and now it is set up okay now I have to uh, write another very important very important stuff about about application about bucket at manager I hope I did spell it right let me just quickly switch over okay so basically here I include this item about and then the name of the application about bucket manager it will can it will get the user if it when the user clicks on this menu it get the screen where he will can read the date when the application was released actual build number and the mentioning of the license and then I want to in include the menu item menu item about the author authors I hope this application will be supported and maintained not only by me but who knows authors and let me just write here authors something author I think the about about authors and this and another important stuff basically it will be here I think I need to include extra button um, support support project and the next item will be like license agreement so basically this is application JPL developed with a JPL license I have my reasons to do that and yeah and yeah I so I'm sorry that I'm not speaking currently so much but I think it is uh, important to say following so basically I need to include another stuff like FX IDs and the proper naming for the usage or when it is uh, need to be translated but basically my application will have following um, structure so I have my help and I'm thinking about 
putting help like to this corner. Mm, can I do this? Let me just quickly try it out. Help menu like layout maybe uh, menu item accelerator layout maybe just try I need to hide left panel right panel okay so I think it is done by this um, menu bar menu bar window preview view let me just show right panel and let me just quickly think padding mm. I want to put this menu, send back, sec, I think, back, ah, ok, and send, bring to front, yeah, I'm just playing with this uh, UI, let me just quickly save it. So this would this actually looks not bad for the first try and now I need to put some additional naming of all of the stuff and hope for the best and I continue my project yeah but I think it is a good reason to stop the recording and say you, to you huge thanks for watching this and till then bye bye.